moving into a little bit of a new step forward here in our digital realm. As we talked about a little bit before, APM being our hardware that we incorporate within our ESM2 platform, and then my plant being the software. How are we making our way forward with engines that really are being demanded to know more about them faster in our new world? We introduced the APM product in 2016. So this was something that could be incorporated into ESM1 or ESM2 platforms. This allows somebody to actually go and see what's going on with an engine, as well as potentially the compressor or generator that's attached to it. So the full package can actually bring in information through this APM hardware. This is really a data collector. We then send it out, whether it's going to be through cellular or network connection, and then we've got some cloud storage and an interface through my plan. But this allowed us to incorporate some alarms. It allowed us to start following trends. It allowed us to figure out, you know, when was the engine really down? If you're not out there, you don't know why the engine is down or know that it's even down when it shouldn't be. It also helps us try to teach people how do you need to service the engine. We know where those criteria are in order to figure out, hey, spark plugs are starting to get a little worn out based on either your secondary voltage or your spark reference number we can go and start scheduling some things out here. Or based on runtime hours, we can now see that and we can see it all remote. We don't have to be there. Here I can look at how long is the engine running? Well, here's my operating hours. I got 13,000 operating hours on here. The engine has started 1,400 times. How many starts within the last week? What's going on with the compressor? We're looking at our suction and our discharge pressures and comparing that to our engine as well for speed as well as for our load. We can look at all of this information and again collect it, create reports, and we can even get triggers that will be sent out via email or as a text message to your phone. So kind of a cool setup or our step forward within the engines. Here's a, a look at what it would look like through your phone or looking at it through the desktop. Again, APM, my plant kind of ties in together, but I always like to separate it out. APM is the hardware portion of it. My plant is the software or the interface that you have with it. We expect people are going to see an increase in their reliability. As you start seeing where faults are occurring or potentially reoccurring, you can identify what's going on and get that stuff fixed. Same thing with maintenance costs. Don't run out there if you don't have the right parts. If you look at this and you say, here's my fault, it's related to the oxygen sensor. Before I leave, I'm going to make sure I have those parts on the truck. Same thing with our operating costs. Again, trying to make sure that, hey, that engine's down. Well, why is it? Well, let's find out again what's going on with that engine in order to bring down those costs. Now, in terms of what we're going to be able to use this data for is figuring out, should we go to longer service intervals? We can't make those guesses without having this data. So APM and my plant is a way not just for customers to have a benefit, but also for us to even learn a little bit more about how our products are used and how to get them to last longer. So here we've got our example. APM in my plant was actually something that was started with our Austrian brethren. And as they've used it, they've got over 20,000 of their assets that are connected. Now that could be Yenbacher engines. It could be our Waukesha engines, but it can also be any OEM. Well, we can actually connect to our competitor system and still bring it in. So if somebody has a few of these and a few of these, we can collect all the data and give them one stop in order to get their information. Here's our compressor, or it could be, again, our generator. Collect all of that information. If it is ESM1 or a competitive product or the compressor, we would need a data collector. Whereas if it is ESM2 or XT4 related to the Yenbacher product, that is actually built in as a data collector, and we just have to come through and send that out to the network. We come through. We have, again, our iOS looking here or our Apple phone, as well as our desktop. And then if you look here, as I look on my desktop here, this is actually the location of the engine. This is essentially kind of a Google map view of where is that engine located within the world so that you can kind of find out where do I want to get a service person from if this is where my engine is, is having some issues. So really we're trying to help people look at their fleet. How do I make sure that I'm only scheduling service or I'm only scheduling maintenance when I actually need it? We're also then able to collect some of this data if they allow us to figure out what's really going on with the engines. And we're able to log in and see what's going on with those engines from wherever in the world our service technician may be or wherever we may be at home or wherever else and figure out, hey, we're starting to get a bit of a weird signal off of that pressure sensor. 
let's give them a call and figure out what we can do in order to get that sensor to them before they actually have a fault or a shutdown. We're able to use this data and make it better experience for people who use our engines or even don't use our engines, but we've got a heck of a product that we can offer. So coming through, this is actually a success story here. They were running a 275 product as well as a compressor. They also had some information from some of their competitive equipment that was there. And as they looked at it, they were having all kinds of shutdowns here. They didn't really know why. Well, they ended up figuring out what was going on with their fuel system. And as they progressed on through, they said, hey, if you fix this, you'll fix the amount of shutdowns that you're having. Well, we had the data. We could tell them what was wrong. And as you see, 80% less alarms by being able to look at the data and figure out what's going on with that engine.